In this video, you will learn how to create a product in your Blaze Retail Shop. After logging into your system, scroll down to the Inventory tab of your left navigation pane. After expanding this, select All underneath Categories. If you're adding a product in one specific category, you can click into that category instead. Once you are on the category screen, click the Add Product button at the top to get started. This will bring up a new screen that captures all of the necessary information for your new product. A few things to cover on this screen. First, there is the product type. You have the choice to either create a regular product or a bundled product. This video will cover how to make a regular item. Creating a bundled item will be covered in a later video. Next is the name. All products in the system must have a unique name. No two products can have the same name. After this, input the status. This is going to allow you to choose whether this is an active or inactive product. Following this is the cannabis type. This is where you will choose the type of cannabis that is in the product. Once you have chosen the cannabis type, choose the category. There are predefined categories, but if you need to add a new category, Refer to the previous video. Following these sections, assign the weight per unit, the pricing template if you have one, if not, these will be covered in a later video, and the retail value. The text box after this is the SKU. If you have a predetermined SKU for your shop, you can enter it here, but if not, Blaze Retail will generate one for you. Following this, select your vendor, secondary vendor, assign the brand, and select whether this is for medical, recreational, or both. Finally, input your product description, and if you'd like, upload a product image. If you do not choose a product image, the default product image for that category will be assigned to this product. Please note, the Weed Maps integration and other third-party integrations will be covered in a different training section. Once you have filled out all of your required information, click the blue Save button at the bottom of the screen. To edit a product, in that same screen, you will be able to click this blue Edit button, or click into the product that you would like to edit and again, you will be brought to this same screen where you can click the blue edit button. There are other features in this screen, such as taxes, inventory, batches, and more that will be covered in a later training section. This concludes the training on how to make a product. Next up is a short quiz regarding the information you've learned in this section.